Introduction to Japanese Candlesticks In this video you will learn what Japanese candlesticks are and how they relate to time frames. You will also see the breakdown of a Japanese candlestick and how to interpret the information they give. Japanese candlesticks are used to show price information when trading. A Japanese candlestick gives you more information than a simple line graph. Where the line graph just gives closing prices, the Japanese candlestick will also give you the opening price, the closing price, the maximum price, and the minimum price during a certain period of time. Every candlestick has a certain period in which they form. This means that, for example, a 5 minute candlestick shows you the price change during a 5 minute period. When 5 minutes are over, a new candle starts to form. A 15 minute candle shows the price action during a 15 minute period. So after 10 minutes, you would have two 5 minute candles, but just one 15 minute candle. At 15 minutes, you have three 5 minute candles and still just one 15 minute candle. After 20 minutes, there are four 5 minute candles and two 15 minute candles. And so on. Here you see how the candles look in a real chart. On the left, you see a 5 minute time frame, and on the right, a 15 minute time frame. These two charts are showing the same price action at the same time. The three candles shown by the arrows on the left chart show this price action over three candles that form over 5 minutes each. The 15 minute chart on the right hand side shows this exact same price action over just one candle that forms over 15 minutes. The 5 minute chart shows more detail than the 15 minute chart. The rectangle in the middle is called the body. The thin line on the top of the body is called the upper wick, or upper shadow. The line coming out at the bottom is called the lower wick, or lower shadow. This is again how it looks in a real chart. You see the date and time on the bottom and the price on the right hand side of the chart. When we dive deeper in what a Japanese candlestick shows, we observe that, first of all, a candlestick can have two colors. Here you see a blue and an orange one. A blue candle forms when the price goes up, during the formation of the candle. This means that the bottom of the body shows the opening price of the period and the top of the body shows the closing price of that period. An orange candle forms when the price goes down during the formation of the candle. So an orange candle has the opening price at the top of the body and the closing price at the bottom. The wicks show you the highest and lowest price that has been reached during the period of the candle. As you have seen, the color of the candlestick will tell you whether prices have risen or fallen during the period. A candlestick that is rising is referred to as bullish. This stems from the way a bull fights, using his horns to throw his opponent in the air. A candlestick that is falling is referred to as bearish. When a bear fights, it uses his claws to smash his rival on the ground. The actual colors do not matter. They can be set to any color you like. The colors are a way of telling you the direction of the price during a period by just looking at the color. Here you can see how it all relates to a real chart. You see the orange candles indicating that price has fallen during that period. Therefore, the opening price is at the top of the body and the closing price at the bottom of the body. The upper wick shows you the highest price and the lower wick the lowest price reached during the period. Furthermore, there are the blue candles that show rising prices. Hence, they have the opening price at the bottom of the candle and the closing price at the top of the body. Exactly as with the bearish orange candle, the upper wick shows the highest and lower wick the lowest price of that period. This concludes the introduction into Japanese candlesticks. So far, you have learned that the Japanese candlesticks chart is the most common chart that traders use. Japanese candlesticks have a certain time they form in, called a time frame. When this period is over, a new candlestick starts to form. That each candlestick tells you the open, close, high and low of the price for a specific period. 
The wicks of the candlestick represent the highest and lowest price for that period. The bullish candlestick shows that prices have gone up during the period it formed. Hence it has the opening price at the bottom and the closing price on the top of the body. The bearish candle has a different colour than the bullish candle. The actual colour is not important, as long as they are distinguishable. The bearish candlestick shows that prices have gone down during the period it formed. Hence it has the opening price at the top and the closing price on the bottom of the body. The upper wick shows the maximum price and the lower wick the minimum price during the period the candle formed.